Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Spectrum Next Stuff. And today I'm going to be looking at the Xberry Pi, which is a new piece of hardware created by Don Superfo. And you may know the name Don Superfo. Um, historically, he's created a lot of stuff relating to the Spectrum, um, clones and other types of board. We've got the Nouveau, the Max 128, the 128 replica, Timex 2048, Harlequin 128, and now he's turned his attention to the Spectrum Next, and he has created this Xberry Pi. Now the reason it's called an Xberry Pi is because it's exactly the same form factor as a Raspberry Pi, except this is a fully Spectrum Next compatible board based on the Issue 2, so that's the Kickstarter one board. And uh, I'm just going to try and get this closer to the camera. Right, okay. So as you can see in the middle here, if I can just get that in, it's running the Spartan 6 FPGA as per the original Kickstarter. You have two meg of memory here. You have a battery holder here. I'm just going to go around the ports on the outside. So the board is powered by a micro USB connector, five volts here. We've got HDMI port here. And we've also got another video out port here. This is called J3 and it's a nine pin mini DIN connector. And um, if you have the right cable, schematics which are available in Don's GitHub, then you can make a VGA or an RGB out cable from that. Moving around, we have a PS2 here and a single nine pin joystick port here. And as we move around, we've got the GPIO, the 40 pin header for a Raspberry Pi Zero. Yep, this thing fits a Raspberry Pi Zero. You have a J9 just below it, and that is for programming the board using a JTAG programmer, a Xilinx cable, whatever you want to call it. And moving in a bit, we've got this here, which is J8, which is an 8-pin um, header for an ESP Wi-Fi module, an 8266. And we've also got in here, you can see where these holes are, just like get my finger on, yeah, the, this J7 here. That is for if you want to connect a matrix keyboard to this board. So at the top here you have the various rows, below that you have the columns, and then you also have things like ground, reset, 5 volts, etc. So it's a pretty featured board if you ask me. Um, so yeah, you've got the RTC, the Wi-Fi, and underneath you have a push to eject um, micro SD card reader. So this is basically a fully compatible Spectrum Next, the size of a Raspberry Pi. Now, if your imagination isn't going by this point, I don't know what's wrong with you because just imagine the kinds of things you could do with a board that's this small and the things that you could fit it in. Um, and you can see on Don Superfo's Git page, which I'll link in the video, um, he's put it inside one of those Raspberry Pi hats, which is basically turns a Raspberry Pi into a kind of a handheld game controller with a D-pad and fire buttons, etc. And he's got one of those in there. But there's, I think there's so many kinds of possibilities and what people could do with a board of this size to make a, kind of a portable next a thing. So I don't yet have a cable for this. Um, I was told that it's similar to the Mega Drive 2 cable but I did order one of those and it had very few wires indeed and looking at the diagram on Don Superfo's Git there are far more wires that should be present. So what I've been told is that this uses the same cable for RGB as the Gomados Plus and the City. So I've reached out to Manuel, who made the City, to see if I can order a cable for this, because I do prefer to use RGB in my setup. 
But for this occasion, I'm going to be using HDMI, and um, I just need to find all my bits here. Obviously, I need a PS2 keyboard here. So let me just grab that. Okay, so PS2 keyboard goes in here. I've got an 8-bit dough. Dough! The old Wi-Fi thingy. Put that in here. And while I'm here, um, I don't have a spare Raspberry Pi Zero at the moment with header, but I'm going to have to source one and um, put one in. But I do have a spare ESP Wi-Fi module, and that just about fits. It's virtually touching this RGB port, but yeah, it all fits. And I'm going to need a VGA cable. Sorry, that's not a VGA cable. That would be a HDMI cable. HDMI cable, and then finally I'm going to need some power. As I say, micro USB, 5 volts. Obviously there's no edge connector on this thing. Um, there's also, uh, I think it's J11 on here, which I didn't mention. It's just by this voltage regulator here. J11 is marked as ear, um, but apparently there's no real audio circuitry. This J11 is connected directly to the FPGA, so you would need to add an additional circuit to get the signal from the tape, and then you would be able to load games via tape into this thing, which is fairly amazing. What, what you're effectively losing from this device is the expansion bus um, and, I guess, the additional joystick port. The other thing to bear in mind is there's no... There's no discrete um, audio output, so you probably have to take it. If you were to use, uh, say, an RGB cable here into SCART, you could probably take the two pins from the SCART cable, left and right, back out of the SCART cable into a 3.5mm. Um, otherwise, you could probably get the signals from this port on the underneath of the board, the two left and right, and then break out an audio cable from that. So unfortunately, my setup doesn't uh, capture audio when I'm using HDMI. Long story, but um, this is going to be a silent demonstration. So as you can see, it's booted up. Um, and I'm just going to make this bigger. So this is using the latest distro for the Kickstarter one next. And um, the distro has changed slightly from how it used to be arranged. Folder names have changed and elements have moved around, um, utilities and tools, etc., which were maybe buried away in demos folders and such, have now been moved into more permanent homes. And uh, we have this new folder called Home. Um, I'm going off tangent a bit here, but Home is as it says. Home is to place your own files. And the idea is of home that the distro will never touch that folder. So whatever you put in there is yours. And if you copy a whole distro over, it shouldn't ever touch that particular folder. So all your stuff is safe. So I've got my joystick connector plugged in. I think we're ready to go. I'm going to drop down to games and I'm going to fire up a bit of revival survival which is my, probably my favourite game that isn't finished yet for the next. Go for Arcade. And yeah, we're playing in silence. Sorry about that. It's just a demonstration after all. But I just, I just think of the possibilities for something like this. And all the tinkerers out there who may have some amazing ideas on what you can do with something in such a small form factor. You know, there's the, there's the handheld possibilities. There's the shoving it inside laptop possibilities. It's accessories that are available for the Raspberry Pi, for example, because this is the same form factor as the Pi. So, you know, a lot of the cases would 
fit this. There may need to be some adaptation done on some of them. And I'm also wondering whether those Raspberry Pi laptops might fit one of these and it may work in that as well. You know, the ones where you effectively just get the shell of the laptop, you know, and you plug a Raspberry Pi in and connect it up to video and keyboard and it just works. Not actually sure um, how the keyboard and such would manifest, but I'm sure there's, there's going to be some real desire to have something like this. I'm not really paying attention to the game, by the way, because I can't really talk and play at the same time. Um, but Don told me, because um, I ordered this directly from Don, um, and he told me that, yes, you can order directly from him, but the hope in the future is that it may be available from Active Consult, that's Richard Spencer, uh, and or Tindy.com. And Don has also given me permission to put his email address in the description of this video. Um, he might regret that. I don't know what kind of algorithms people run against YouTube. Um, video descriptions, harvesting stuff. I hope he doesn't get spammed to hell for doing that. Um, but as I say, reach out to Don if you fancy one of these. Um, I'm failing that. Oh, I ran out of time. Failing that wait to see some availability um, in other locations because Don is a long way away. I think he's in America. Um, and of course Active Consult's in the UK so presumably Richard and Don have been speaking and uh, hopefully we may be able to get a UK stockist for this amazing board. So that's it. This is the Xberry Pi and I'm done. Thanks.